And this is the Pixie 85 or the Tiny 85 board uh, set up in a little uh, development environment. I've gone ahead and I've preloaded the board with or the chip with uh, the program I use for the pen tip linky. And I just I thought I would take a minute and show you how I would wire this up on a breadboard. Uh, I've got some resistors here. Now I find the resistors are usually longer than I need them to be. And I like to trim them down. So I will go ahead and trim them down like so. And I'm not going to throw away the extra leads. I'm going to trim down the other side also. So that they're about like that. Now, the resistors, I'm going to take the first one, I'm going to set it right in the middle on the two. That's because we start counting with one with this. It's right in the middle on the two. And then I'm going to take these others and bend them so that they'll go on the breadboard. And the next one I'm going to set at a slight angle, like so. And then the next one, the same thing on the other side, going out. And then the next one I'm going to go, whoops. Okay, so this next one I'm going to have go out even further. And my objective here is to get it so that there's an empty space between each resistor on the bottom. Last one. I'm going to go here to here. So I've got a nice spread of, LED, er, of the resistors there. And then I'm going to take these extra leads I'm going to go from the spot just right next to the resistor to the ground pin. There. And then I'm going to grab if I can pick it up there. I'll take these wires and I'll bend them into a horseshoe shape and then I'm going to have them go across two pins and it's hard to see there that's better so I have it jumping across two pins like that and then I'm going to take the next one and I'll do the same thing I'm going to stick it in there across the next two uh, gaps, like that. And this time I happen to grab two leads, so I'll just need one at a time. And I'm going to keep jumping them across so that every other pin on the breadboard is connected to the negative lead. And then one more for good measure. Probably don't really need it, but that way it won't matter which way I plug LEDs in. Now the resistor values I'm using are a 330 ohm resistor should work fine with most um, with most LED values. And now I take my LEDs, which I've trimmed off, and the negative lead is the short one. So I just have to go through and plug it in. Let's see, that's a green one. Let's start with a red one. Let's do a Red, 
green, blue, like so. And then I'm going to go back to red. And green. And there I have all my pretty colors. And now if I turn this on and hit my button, I can cycle through all the modes just like the AT, the Penta Blinky circuit board. Except this is set up on a breadboard circuit. And that looks like that turned back off again. So there you go. Penta Blinky circuit on a breadboard. And if you'll notice these little wires down at the bottom jumping across. Those are just the leads from the resistors. And it's all nice and tidy.